In this video, I'm going to show you all the wonderful things you can do with a gel plate and your photos. And at the end of the video, I will tell you which one of these fun techniques is my favorite one to do and why. The first technique we can do with the gel plate is making a very basic photo transfer, which is done by using just one color. So no background or anything fancy. And before we go on, if you're interested in learning how to image transfer and gel print your own photos, make sure to check out my online classes. They are fun and easy. So yeah, if you're interested, check out the links to the online classes below this video. And here is what a simple photo transfer gel print looks like. Next, let's see how we can transfer a photo in a similar way, but this time I'm going to use a few colors. As you can see, I'm using four different colors. I really love monoprinting my photos with a few colors that work nicely together. We can also layer a photo and some text. Uh, you can place the text in the background, but in this case, I'm going to layer the text over the photo. So first I transfer the photo and now I'm going to layer the text over it. So I layer the text by pulling it onto the paper and over my photo. I really like the look of this uh, final print. Another fun way of using a gel plate is to layer color, texture and text on the paper and basically create the background and then transfer the photo over it. So this is the background and now I'll transfer the photo over it. And yeah, we've got lots of cool layers here. And why not make our own gel plate? It's quite easy to do. And by the way, there are links to all the gel printing tutorial videos below this video. So if you want to learn how to make your own gel plate, make sure to check uh, these links. I also explained there how to make a vegan gel plate, so be sure to check it out. And what do you know, you can actually use a homemade gel plate to transfer your photos. Thank you. 
When you make your own homemade gel plates, uh, different shapes and sizes, uh, you can actually use them like stamps. You can also make text stamps and use any text you want. And of course, transfer your own laser printed photos. and magazine or book pages. So using the homemade stamps, you can also create a very colorful large size collage. And you can keep the large size collage or cut down into postcard size artwork. Okay, so here are a few more ideas of what we can do with the gel plate and our photos. We can transfer the photo to tissue paper. And then we can use the transfer in a collage art piece. The tissue is great for this purpose because once you glue it down over your collage, it pretty much disappears and the photo merges very nicely onto the collage. You can also create beautiful journal pages. Okay, so now let's see what else we can do with a gel plate and photos. If you have a magazine or a book with beautiful photos that you want to transfer, uh, but you don't want to ruin the book, you can actually make laser copies and transfer the copies instead. Here, I made a copy of a vintage botanical illustration and I transfer it onto a page from an old gardening book. So as you can see, there are so many ways to make wonderful things with a gel plate. Let me know in the comments below which one inspires you to create with your gel plate. And I hope you are inspired. <laughs> For me, my favorite thing to make with my gel plate is the large size colorful collage that I create with my homemade gel plates. I think it's because of all the creative freedom it gives me and of course, all these colors. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.